Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. And with me today, I've got Tall from Traveling Tall's YouTube channel. I've also got Daryl. Daryl won our Hertz Stage 4 amp speaker giveaway at the Run to the Hills 2. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to say Run for the Hills. Run to the Hills 2 at Bootlegger Harley Davidson in Knoxville, Tennessee. So Tall put on this event. It was an amazing event. And you need to take the time and go and get ready. When, th when the third one comes out, you got to make a trip to Knoxville. You got to go on the ride. You got to come see us. But Daryl looked up and he won our Hertz Stage 4 amp speaker package. So this is the same amplifier and speakers that are in Tall's bike. So we're going to do our full plug and play Hertz HMP 4D. It's a 600 watt amp. We're going to upgrade his front speakers with the SX165 Neos from Hertz. Same thing in the tour pack. We're going to change out the grills, get all this took care of. We're going to flash the radio so it sounds great and make sure that Daryl has an amazing system. Probably give away another one at the next event. So definitely be there and maybe you can win too. You got anything you want to say? No, I think you, you've handled everything. First of all, uh, again, I want to thank Jay for participating in the giveaway, well, hosting the giveaway, putting on the giveaway at Run to the Hills 2. And uh, Daryl is the lucky winner of it. And uh, listen, guys, this could not be going on a more beautiful bike. This black and blue Ultra is a beautiful motorcycle. It's a 2022, right, Daryl? That's right. Yeah, it's a fantastic looking bike. But now we're about to take care of something that is just, I don't want to say it's a flaw, but it's a huge upgrade when Jay gets a hold of this thing and he puts the new uh, radio in it. I think you're going to be really pleased with it. Yeah, I think we're going to take it from you can barely hear it at highway <laughs> speeds to you've got more than you need, which, you know, a 600 watt amp, a lot of people say you need 800 watts, you need 1200 watts. You hear no. this stuff all the time. When it's loud enough that you can hear it over the wind in the engine at 85 plus miles an hour, I believe we've succeeded. That's what our plan is today. We're going to get this put in place. It's a 2022. We know it's under warranty. We're not going to cut a single wire. We're not going to do anything to void that Harley warranty, and we're going to make it amazing. Right. I want to also give a shout out to Hertz. So Hertz helped sponsor yes. this. They supplied us the equipment we needed for the giveaway. We're doing the labor, and we've all come together to make sure that Daryl gets a blessing. So hang out and watch the video as we take this bike apart and we get all of it installed. We'll let Daryl hear this for the first time, and well, let's see if we can get him on, get his reaction. Come a little closer, Daryl. <laughs> I'm going to change up tracks. We're going to go to another one that's just a little bit longer to make sure that we have plenty of time to fit it in. Okay. And let's get set up door walkway. All right. Just 
a pair of Hertz SX165 Neos front and rear and a 600 watt Hertz amplifier. It sounds absolutely amazing, even you know right at 200 feet away. So I think you get the idea. It's real hard to show how the quality of this is inside of a building. We've got to get out here. We've got enough room to really stretch it out. His bike is way down there on the other end. You still can hear it. Still sounds very clear. Uh, we're not quite out of parking spaces. Sorry about we that. might have ran out of song. <laughs> <laughs> So I just had a great question by Traveling Tall here. So Tall asked, he said, so what makes, makes that Hertz speaker so much better than a stock speaker and which one was in my bike? So we're kind of reminiscing on when we did his upgrade. So the same speaker that was in Daryl's bike, this small five and a quarter speaker is the same speaker that was in Tall's bike also. So that is what is in this. Now, if you were to go up to uh, a boom stage one, you're gonna see that it moves up to a six and a half inch sized speaker and it's got a little separate tweeter to the side. If you go to boom two, you actually get a solid woofer, you get a separate midden tweeter in front of it, and these two systems normally you're gonna have an amplifier associated with them. But back to the question, what makes the Hertz speaker so much better? I mean, it's quite a bit more expensive than a cheap speaker and what material makes them louder? Well, one good way of kind of showing you is, let's see if I can show you this. This is a metal wall. Speakers are a voice coil, which is a copper wound piece of wire that sits in a magnetic gap. So the magnet actually makes this speaker function. And the stronger that speaker is, the more control it has and the more efficient seemingly the speaker is. So a lot of times people look at a speaker and if it's got a bigger magnet, they go, whoa, that's gotta be a better speaker. Well, if you notice on this metal wall, I have no magnetic property seemingly at all on the stock speaker. Now we take our Hertz speaker, and it's, it's connecting to the wall. I mean, it's kind of hard to pull off. It would actually hang here where the factory speaker won't at all. So first off, we have a much bigger, stronger magnet. It's neodymium, which is the strongest magnet. It's about 40 times stronger than strontium. And that's what Harley uses, but it's just so small that you can't even see that it has a magnetic field around it. It doesn't hook to anything. Now, when they went up and they upgraded, same problem. Boom one, boom two, magnet's still not big enough. These magnets actually take the heat from the electrical current and uh, they'll get very, very hot to the touch, especially when they're small. The bigger they are, the better they're gonna dissipate that heat. The more efficient this speaker is gonna be, meaning it's gonna be louder off less power. One great thing about this speaker that I'm told by the guys at Hertz, this speaker does 90% of its output with 50% of its rated power. 
Meaning, even though it's a 100-watt RMS speaker, if you send 50 watts to it, it's still doing 90% of what it's capable of. The factory speaker is nowhere near that efficient. So just doing a direct replacement with a stock radio, these are going to be clearer. They're going to go a little louder than the stock speaker does. Adding the amplifier like we're doing in Daryl's, it's going to bring it to a whole other level and make it where we can hear it over the bike, the exhaust, the wind, and make it where we can hear it while we ride. But just want to take a second and kind of tell you the difference in it. The neodymium is the most important part. Now Hertz also is using a lighter, stiffer cone that's treated to be waterproof and has a gasket around the center. And if you notice, our tweeter is actually substantially larger too. So more surface area from a true six and a half, more surface area on the tweeter, better materials. It's going to make it more efficient. It's going to make it louder. It's going to give us that result we're looking for.